Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to create an SQS destination for a Lambda function in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the SQS service, then create two new queues. The first one called my success SQS queue and the second one called my failure SQS queue. I'm going to leave all the configuration settings to default while creating them. Next, let's navigate to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Select Python for runtime, then click on create function and scroll down to the code source section. Click on test and give your test event a name, then hit save. Click on test again to execute your Lambda function. You should see hello from Lambda as the response party, which means the Lambda function was successfully executed. Click on add destination in the function overview section, then select asynchronous invocation for source and on success for condition. Choose SQS queue for the destination type and my success SQS queue as the destination, then hit save. Click on add destination one more time, and this time choose on failure for condition and my failure SQS queue for destination, then hit save again. Now, whenever our Lambda function is invoked asynchronously, the event will either show up in the my success SQS queue or my failure SQS queue, depending on whether the function was executed successfully or not. Next, to invoke our Lambda function asynchronously, let's leverage the event bridge service. Click on create rule, then give it a name. Select schedule for rule type, then click on continue to create rule. For schedule pattern, Choose a rate expression of one minute, then hit next. Select Lambda for target type, then choose my testing function and hit next. Click on create rule, then navigate back to the Lambda window and hit refresh. Since our Lambda function will get triggered every minute by the event bridge service, you should now see it in the function overview section as well. Next, let's navigate back to the My Success SQS queue and click on Send and Receive Messages. Click on Poll for Messages and you should see a successful event show up in this queue from our Lambda function. Next, let's go back to the Code Source section of our Lambda function. Here, I'm going to add a Raise Exception statement so our Lambda function fails upon execution. Hit deploy, then click on test to confirm that our Lambda function does fail on execution. Now let's go back to the My Failure SQS queue and click on Send and Receive Messages. Hit poll for messages, then give it a few minutes for the event bridge service to execute our Lambda function asynchronously. Once the message arrives, click on it to confirm that it contains the raise exception message that we created. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.